generation to generation. He never changes. What he did yesterday, he can do today. What he did in the Old Testament, he can still do it again in the New Testament. What he did to the Israelites, he can do it even today. If he delivered them then, he can deliver us today. If he healed them then, he can heal us today. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
jaezi Umejitika utukovo Wewe ni mungu Lord. We bless your holy name for who you are. We thank you for what you can do in our lives. We thank you for what you've already done. Give of glory. You are lifted from generation to generation. You are lifted, my God, from time to time. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. There is no other God besides you, O oh Lord. We magnify your holy name tonight. We thank you for who you are, Lord. We give you glory for who you are, Jehovah. Signs and wonders, miracles in our lives, oh God. Thank you for healing, Jehovah Lord. Thank you for your mighty hand over your people tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Was
all alone. Tonight we just lay them at the cross of Calvary. Tonight we lay all our concerns at your cross. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us walk free tonight, oh God. Let us experience your liberty tonight. Let us experience your breakthrough, oh God. Because you took it all on the cross of Calvary. You alone are worthy, oh God. You alone are worthy, majesty. You alone are We thank you, Lord of glory, for Calvary. We thank you, Lord of glory, for removing burdens. We thank you, Lord of glory, that we are justified tonight. We are justified because of the cross. We are justified because of your doing, Lord. We are justified tonight for rest. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus this evening. Thank you, Jesus. Give him praise because he's worthy to be glorified. Our God is great. Our God is worthy. Our God is to be lifted up. One more time, celebrate the Lord this night. We give you glory. We bless you. 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 Mungu wa miungu we Waku wabudi wabudi wani wewe Mungu wa miungu Waku sifiwa Waku wabudi wa Ni wewe tu Mungu wa miungu we Waku wabudi wa Ni wewe tu Wewe bwana Waku sifiwa Wa 
Say that. 
So really said you Lord Thank you Lord I have come to give up to you Lord All the praise all the honor I have come to say thank you Lord Say I have come today I have come to give up to you For all the things that you've done Because your presence makes us whole. 
Your presence heals us. Your presence lifts us. Your presence blesses us. Your presence, your presence. It's your presence that makes a difference, Lord. It's your presence that makes a difference, Lord. Jesus. Be exalted. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, oh Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, your presence makes me whole. Lift your voice and say.
Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty. He reigns forever. Reigns forever. Reigns forever. Oh, and you reign, O oh Lord. You reign, O oh Lord. You reign, Lord. You reign. social media platforms it's a big welcome into the presence of God and we are ready for God's word so pull out your Bibles sit down everybody and pull out your Bibles notebooks and pens and God bless you somebody told me I always tell you that I always tell you pull out your Bibles notebooks and pens and uh, it is good because one day you will need these notes when I'm not nearby and whatever you will learn will help you hallelujah so we continue where we were last sunday but before we get to the new scriptures i just want us to pray the scriptures that we had last sunday the lord spoke to us and was very very precise and from psalms 65 verse 11 and this is a midweek service so i'm going to try to be short it's also a rainy season here in Nairobi, Kenya. So we are going to try to be short. But before then, let's make sure this word sinks into our spirit. Psalm 65 and verse 11. Lay your hands on your head and make a confession. Thank you, Lord. Everybody, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For you crown my head. For you crown my head. You crown the whole year. You crown the whole year with the goodness. With goodness. You've covered me. You have covered me with your goodness. With your goodness. You've anointed me. You have anointed and me. And all my paths. And all my paths. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I, I go. I drop fatness. I drop fatness. Anointing flows. Anointing flows. Oil flows. Oil flows from within me from within in me in the name of jesus in the name of jesus all my parts all my parts i drop fatness i drop fatness and therefore and therefore any wilderness any wilderness that was in my life that was in my already life already by now already by now pasture pasture has started has started manifesting manifesting and in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i decree i decree that in this pasture that in this pasture i have wealth i have wealth i have flocks i have flocks. i have corn i have corn i have abundance i have abundance and i shout and i shout for joy for joy and sing and sing a new song a new song for my footsteps for my footsteps are anointed are anointed you have established you have established my going in, my going and in, my going out, and my going like out. you say in Deuteronomy 28. Like you say, in you have today. blessed me. You have blessed as me as I go in. If I go and in, as I go out, as I go out, you have anointed. You have anointed every step I take. Every step I take, and the works of my hands, the works of my are blessed. Are blessed for my hands. For my hands are equally anointed. Are equally my anointed. feet, my feet, which represent my walk, which represent and my, my walk, hands, and my hands, which represent my 
work. We did it through I'm flowing with anointing. I'm flowing with there anointing. is pasture. There is pasture. There is abundance. There is abundance in my life. In my life. I Margaret Wanjiro. I Timothy Kaemba. I am enjoying. I am enjoying life. Life and life. And life in abundance. In abundance. Give God praise in the house. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us continue Psalms 36 confess now from verse 7 onwards and say thank you Lord thank you Lord for covering me for covering me and protecting me and protecting me and keeping me and keeping under me under the shadow under the shadow of your wings of your wings where I'm experiencing where I'm experiencing the excellency thy excellence of thy kindness of thy kindness I thank you I thank that you have abundantly that you have abundantly satisfied me satisfied me with your fatness with the fat that is in this church that is in this that church. is in this house that is in this that house that is why tonight that is why tonight, I have come to tap a fresh come to into come this anointing into this anointing thank Thank you for releasing Thank you for releasing the river of thy pleasures a river of your to pleasure flow into my life to flow in my and life to fill me and to fill with me your abundance with your abundance. the fountain of life the fountain is of flowing life. in me is flowing I in me. am full of life I am full and of life. life in abundance life in abundance I thank you Lord I thank you Lord that if there were any darkness that if there be any in darkness, my life in my life you have already you have already removed it removed it overtaken it overtaken overthrown it, it overthrown Uprooted, uprooted every darkness, every darkness for thy light for thy light has become has become my light my light in my life in my life in my health in my health over my names over my names in my body in my body in my work in my work in my family in my family in all the affairs in all of affairs, my life my life in my calling in my calling in everything everything and everyone everyone called by my name called by my name I decree today I decree today that you are light that your life has become, has become my light. My light. There is no darkness. There is no dark in me. In me. The fruits. The fruit of darkness. Of darkness. Cannot be manifested. Cannot be manifested in my life. In my so life. So no sickness. No sickness. No bondage. No bondage. No oppression. No oppression. No evil. No evil. No witchcraft. No witchcraft. No curses. No curses. No demonic spirits. No demonic spirits. No unclean spirits. No unclean. Spirits. No evil spirits. No evil can spirit. function. Can in my life, in my life, every demonic covenant, every demonic, every covenant, demonic initiation, every demonic is initiation. null and vowed. For, for Jesus Christ is the light, is the light of my life. Of my life. The light of God, the light of has God. become, has become my light. My life. In Jesus' name, in Jesus name. Do you wanna pause there and give God a praise? Hallelujah. Do you wanna pause there and give God a praise? Amen. That His light yes. has become, yes. Our light Amen. hallelujah Amen. let us continue decreeing some more and say thank you father thank you father for your continued loving kindness for your continued loving upon kindness. my life upon my now, life remember nobody is confessing for you everybody is confessing for themselves if you are waiting for somebody to confess for you you are in the wrong congregation you confess the word of God for yourself thank you father thank you father for your loving kind for, for continuing for continuing thy loving kindness thy loving kindness upon my life upon my I life i thank you for your righteousness thank you for your righteousness that have upheld me that have upheld and upheld given me and given me an upright heart an upright heart i give you glory i give you glory as you work in me as you work in for me for every person for every person that cometh in pride cometh in Christ. every foot every foot that comes in pride that comes in pride against my life against my life this moment, for this moment, they are removed. They are, they removed. are uprooted. They are uprooted. The hand, the hand, and the feet, and the feet of the wicked, of the wicked that came against me. That came against from me. this moment, from this moment, they are removed. They are removed. far away, far away from my life. From my life, I decree. I decree. Any workers, any workers of iniquity, of iniquity, working against, working against my life, my life. Any workers, any workers of iniquity, of iniquity, raising against, raising against. My Life. My life, any workers, any workers of, iniquity, of iniquity with the spirit of jealousy, with, the spirit of jealousy, with wickedness, and wickedness against my life, against my with, life. Evil, with evil, with today, today, in the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus I, decree, I decree, all of you, all of have you fallen, have fallen, and you will not be 
be able you will not be able to raise again, to raise again. you will not be able you will not be to able raise again to raise for again. no weapon for no weapon formed against me formed against that me. shall ever prosper that shall ever no prosper. weapon no weapon formed against my formed family, against my family. Or, or anything or anyone or anything called or anyone. by my name called by that my name. shall ever prosper that shall ever and prosper. from this moment from this moment i decree i decree in all these things in all these things, I am more than a conqueror. 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 Than a conqueror. In Christ Jesus. In Christ. Any strategy, Any strategy of the enemy, of the enemy against my life. Against my Any life. plan Any of the enemy, of the enemy against, against my life. Against my the life. plan and the planners. The plan and the planners. All of them. All of them. Under my feet. Under my feet. Totally fallen. Totally fallen. And fallen. never to arise. Never to according arise. According to God's word. According to God's In Jesus' holy In name. Jesus holy and name. give God a shout of praise this Hallelujah. Evening. Put your hands together. Amen. And I told you as you clap, you open your mouth and say thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. As you clap, you open your mouth and say thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. As you clap, yes. you open your mouth yes. and you shout and you say thank you, thank you Jesus. It's not just about clapping. Yes. Lift up your voice yes. and say thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. I take power and authority. Yes. I subdue yes. every spirit that is not of God. Yes. Every spirit that is not of God. Yes. Taken power and authority. Yes. Subdued and rendered powerless In the name and of totally nullified. Yes. By the blood of the Son of God. Yes. The blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. That speaketh better things. Yes. About us than that of Abraham. Yes. Now, if you're like me, you can shout Hallelujah. and give God a big shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I arrest Hallelujah. every evil spirit. Yes. I arrest the witches. We arrest I arrest them. the spies. We arrest I arrest them. the agents of we Lucifer. Them, them and their bosses. Yes. Somebody help me and take a moment and pray. Somebody help me and take a moment and pray. Somebody help me and take a moment and pray. Holy Ghost, have your way. Holy Ghost, raise us standard. Holy Ghost, have your way. Holy Ghost, raise us standard. Holy Ghost, have your way. Holy Ghost, raise us In the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. In the name yes, of Lord, Jesus, the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Holy Ghost oh, yes. raise a standard raise today. Raise a standard. Raise a standard today. Raise a standard. Raise a standard today. Raise a standard. In the mighty name, yes, of, Jesus. The name of Jesus. Job chapter thirty-six, from verse fifteen. Job thirty-six fifteen. We were there last Sunday. We are still on last Sunday. Job thirty-six fifteen. Everybody making a confession. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For you delivered me. For you delivered me from every affliction. From every affliction. Today you open my ears. Today you open my to ears. To hear you. To hear you. And destroy. And destroy the voice. The voice of oppression. Of oppression. I refuse. I refuse for any stronghold. For any stronghold of my afflictor. Of my afflictors. To speak to me. To speak I to me. I pull down those strongholds. I pull those strongholds. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of I Jesus. I refuse to be manipulated. I refuse to be I manipulated. I refuse to live 
live in fear I refuse to and live in, in the fear. name of Jesus in the name of I decree I that decree. No, oppression no oppression shall be had in my life shall be had in from, my life. This moment, from this my moment my ears are open my ears for are the open. voice of God for the voice for of the sound of abundance for the sound for of the voice of the almighty God the voice of the thank almighty. you father thank you for father. you are removing me for you are removing from me from a place where I was squeezed from a place and where I was you squeezed. are taking me and you are taking to me. a broad place a broad place a place where I have enough space where I close, where to I do enough my place. work to do my to work. Do what I should do. To do what I should do. In the, do. Name, in of the Jesus. mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For you have set a table. For, you set a for table. me. For me. And it is full. It is full of fatness. Of fatness. It is full. It is full of abundance. Of abundance. It is full. It is full of thy pleasure. Of thy pleasure. Of thy goodness. Of thy goodness. Of thy loving kindness. Thy loving kindness. Of your grace. Of your grace. Upon my life. Upon my now life. Now lift up your voices and thank God. For delivering you from yes, the affliction. Lord, in the name of Jesus, uh, I thank, thank God you tonight. For I thank you for delivering you from the affliction. I thank you for thank deliverance. God for delivering, delivering you from the affliction. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I, thank you, God, uh, I thank you, my God. I thank you, my Father. 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 I thank you, now be like Elijah prophesy into your bank account Yes. Prophesy. Yes. Into this church. I prophesy. Prophesy. I prophesy. Into your finances. I prophesy. Prophesy. I prophesy. Into your calling. I prophesy. Prophesy. I prophesy. In everything that is called by your name. Jesus. And decree. Yes. Abundance. Abundance. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. I prophesy. And be a prophet. I prophesy. Of tonight. your own destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. A prophet. Jesus. I prophesy of your tonight. Own destiny. In the mighty name a prophet of our Lord Jesus Christ. Of your Christ. own destiny. In my bank account, in my project, in my family, in my finances, in my business, I prophesy, I prophesy, in every thing that is called by my name, in my affairs of my life, in my projects, in my business, in my work, in my finances, in my finances. I prophesy I prophesy in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I prophesy in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ Hallelujah. take your seats please Amen. glory to God Amen. take your seats for most of you that's where we stopped last Sunday but uh those who are in the second service got a bit more. I first service in a guanga na pressure at time. Second service, to na guanga to ko na expand kidogo. So those who are in the first service, I think that's where we stopped. But I want us today to look at the builders. We said those who build are the ones who establish. So we look at those who establish somebody say establish we look at those who establish and as we look at establishing we look at you and i thank god for prophet Jerry. i don't know if she was here she was preaching lunch hour and i listened i was blessed if you are one of my children and you preach and i'm blessed there is something in you and she was declaring that today we build we build she was there on sunday so we build, we build our lives, we build our families, we build our callings, we build everything and everyone that God has given us. We build our skills, we just build up our lives. There must be a building in this season. You can't just stay there day, January to December, same person, no progress, no growth. Somebody say, I am the one who builds my life. I am the one who builds God my will life. use me to build. God will use me and to And from now I will repair. From now on, whatever had gone wrong, whatever and had gone build wrong, up from there, and, build up and from, from there, 
from there, I will establish. I will establish what God has called me to do. What God has called me to do. Now the story of Nehemiah is a very interesting story. Though we shall look at it, let's allow Reverend T to read for us Nehemiah chapter two. Uh, quite a long text there, but uh, it's important that we read. We go all the way up to verse seven. Nehemiah chapter two, verse one up to verse seven. Reverend T. Nehemiah chapter number two, verse number one. And it came to pass in the month of Nisan, in the twentieth year of Auseras the king, that wine was before him. And I took up the wine and gave it unto the king. Now I had not been before time sad in his presence. Wherefore the king said unto me, Why is thy countenance sad, seeing thou art not sick? This is nothing else but sorrow of heart. Then I was very sore afraid. And said unto the king, Let the king live forever. Why should not my countenance be sad? when the city the place of my father's scriptures lieth west and the gates thereof are consumed with fire then the king answered for what dost thou make request so i prayed to the god to go to the god of heaven and i said unto the king if it pleases the king and if thy servant have found favor in thy sight that thou wilt send me to judah unto the city of my father's scriptures uh, that i may build it and the king said unto me the king the queen also sitting by him for how long shall the journey be when will thou return so it pleased the king to send me and i set him a time moreover i said unto the king if thou pleases if if it please the king let let us be given to the governors beyond the river that I may that they may convey me over till I come into Judah. The story of Nehemiah is an interesting one because Nehemiah was in his comfort zone. He was enjoying himself, had a good job, well-paid job. He had nothing to worry about. But you see. God is also interested. When God looks for people to do something on his behalf, he will look for a performer. Amen. So if you're one of those people that don't want to work and you're lazy, don't worry, God is not going to look for you. God is looking for performers. God is looking for somebody who can deliver. There could have been somebody else who had nothing to do, who could have been given the responsibility to go and rebuild the wall but no god did not look for those ones god looked for a very busy man called nehemiah so number one nehemiah is a performer secondly god looked for nehemiah because he knew nehemiah will put god first the problem with many people is that they want to be blessed but god is not their first after they are blessed Actually, God could come three or number four in their life. But they just want the blessings. In this season that God has given us, God is looking for a people that are saying, Lord, you bless me, but all that I have is yours. A people that can let go. A people that can say, Lord, I am here even for you. And even there, it's for you. How do you come out of the king's palace to go build a wall, being accused every day by the Tobias and Sanballats, having a hard time to rebuild this wall, and yet you are there consistently doing what God has called you. I can tell you 100% Nehemiah had God. If you did not hear God, you can't even take such a risk. You have a comfortable job. You are in your comfort zone. You are living to go where? You want to go and Kusumbuana Apo with Akinas, Tobias and Sanballat. See, you stay there in the king's palace and have your peace. But Nehemiah is the kind of person who knows whether in the king's palace or somewhere in the field, 
since you have said when he calls me I will answer Nehemiah knew that wherever God will send him that is what God will reward him for sometimes we think about the reward of men we think about the monetary benefits we get out of a situation apparently I'm one of those people who hardly looks at money me I don't look at things with the eye of money hardly ever I will first of all look at the assignment before I think about the money why because money is not my priority you can have a lot of money and be very miserable I better have a little and be very happy and keep my peace and keep my cool and enjoy life but when you have too much you don't even know what to do with it like my son keeps on asking some people you don't even understand what is enough because they never look like to ever have enough they are always somewhere looking for more looking for more looking for more I am not saying that money is bad but I'm saying that money is not the first priority in life seek here the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all these things including money shall be added unto you in this abundance may God add you something may God add you something a sister of mine said to me bishop I've stopped being worried about money I had preached about entering rest and so she entered into rest she didn't have much she was actually being accommodated by her own sister and this time around she was at peace she entered her rest she's busy worshiping and rejoicing and her sister calls from abroad and said you know I'm about to come back and now she's like I you come back and then me now where am I going to live ordinarily she should worry she didn't she was in her moment of peace the other time her sister calls and says to prepare you for my coming I have paid for a plot go look and confirm that it is the right one you wanted she went and checked it's exactly what she wanted and she was told I'm sending you money for construction today she has her own home put God first all these things shall be added unto you hallelujah so today she has her home and her children she's living in a newer house than the one she gave back to her sister she's enjoying life she's happy she's in a better place in terms of environment in terms of location she's in a place this other one was an apartment that one is a house in its own a bungalow in its own compound ah, touch your neighbor for me and tell your neighbor neighbor God knows your needs and he shall supply for all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus get busy worshiping God praising him adoring him come on just get busy appreciating God he's going to take care of you hallelujah so Nehemiah is one of these people that he can give up his position to be able to go to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem the people that came to him came with bad news they came and told him how bad the wall has been demolished how Jerusalem has now been destroyed how things are bad and everybody was crying and Nehemiah joined them in the crying and Nehemiah was feeling very sad the Bible said that their countenance was down they couldn't laugh they couldn't smile they were sad and yes we do face challenges in life that can make us sad but behold even in that sadness even in that moment of demonic attack even in that moment when evil has come against you even in that moment when you are facing challenges put yourself together and begin seeking for a solution I want to say it again refuse to go under the enemy is pushing you to go under refuse to go under how will you refuse to go under somewhere in the inside of you there is a solution to your problems remember I did not say in the outside of you I said in the inside of you Daniel Bishop I'm born in a poor family our family has too many problems I don't even feel like staying there anymore you know the problem is not the, the, the solution sorry is not everybody in the family the solution is in you somewhere in you somewhere in the inside of you every 
every challenge you will ever face, the solution is in you. That is why in all the trials, in all the challenges, the only weapon and the only thing you can do is run to prayer. I told you, if the enemy can shut your mouth, where you do not confess the word of God, where you do not pray, where you do not call upon God, then the enemy has a field day. But as long as you can open your mouth and confess the word of God and decree the goodness of God and speak into your situation and pray into your situation, the solution is in you. So you must manifest it. And the way to manifest it is through your words. Did you hear me, somebody? Somebody say, my words. My words. Hey, please. Uh, forget about your neighbor now and talk to yourself and say my words. My words. I'm not hearing you. My words. I'm not hearing you. My words. I'm not hearing you. My words. My words. And these are the words that you speak in prayer. These are the words that you decree as you praise, as you worship. These are the words that you decree in the presence of the Almighty God. You cannot let evil situations, demonic situations, continuous problems to wreck you down you have too much power within you for you to go under can you touch yourself and say e, i'm powerful this thing cannot finish me e, yeah, 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 yeah. no it can't problem a come i will overcome problem b come i will overcome problem three come i will overcome problem four come i will overcome problem five come i will overcome now i'm sure you are thinking about people you are thinking about but bishop even some of your battles are with very powerful people can i tell you i serve a most high most powerful god can i tell you that is in me who liveth in me is greater than any man or woman on this earth are you hearing me somebody it doesn't matter who raises against you what matters is who is in you is he that in us that is in us than he that is in the world eh kwa hiyo imemkera huyo kijana ametoka kwa nini kuna tu vitu ninasema naona mmoja alikuwa pale ametoka huyo naye ametoka imemguza wapi reka maza katara baseke sabore decree greater is he is he that is in me that is in me and he that is in the world that is in the world greater greater is he is he that is in me that is in me and he that is in the world that is in the world anybody in this world attacking your life remind yourself inside you there is one who is greater somebody say inside me inside me hey, somebody say inside me inside me where is the solution inside, inside me. me where is the power inside, inside me. me where are the words of victory inside, inside me. me where is the power of prayer inside, inside me. me where is the confession inside, inside me. me where is the word that moves mountains inside, inside me, me. Amen. Once you know who lives in you, you will stop to fear. You must also remind yourself that people, most people will not be comfortable with your blessings. If you think that you're going to be blessed and everybody is clapping for you, you are wrong. <laughs> They are those who cannot even waste a finger, leave alone a hand, a finger to clap for you. Every one of them is watching for you to go down. And here you are, you have refused to go under. Ameinuka tena, nie huyo tena, sasa tufanye nini? They are a people that cannot go down. And I happen to be one of those people. Nothing and no one has the power or the ability to take me down. I am like Nehemiah. It's not about the money. It's about where God will get glory. It's not about the money. It's about that which shall bring glory unto the Most High God.
Somebody say, Lord, I hear you. Lord, I hear Somebody you. shout, Lord, I hear you. Lord, I hear Somebody you. shout, Lord, I hear you. Lord, I hear my you. brother, my sisters, Nehemiah could have sat down and decided, I'm going to become a crying baby. Touch your neighbor for me and tell your neighbor, wipe your tears. Wipe and your tears. raise up raise because up. their answer the is in you. The answer their solution is in you. Is in you. The solution and from is in you. today, from you today. are going to manifest you are going that to manifest solution. That solution. That solution. You have to manifest it. Amen. It is in you. Somebody say, in me. In me. I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. Yeah, stop waiting for anybody to become your answer. You are the answer. It's in you. It's you to decide he shida. It's you to decide he shida. Nina shindana na yo sasa na nitatoka nikuwa zaidi ya mshindi. Wana esu asifiwe. Niwe mwenyewe kufanya wamuzi. Mimi kama askofu wako ata nikiamua kwa meaba yako. Haita tenda kazi. Wewe mwenyewe diyo mwenye kuamua. Nehemiah decided Jerusalem has been destroyed. But sitting here will not help us. Crying here will not save us. So he went to pray. And every time he's praying and fasting, he is still working. Somebody say prayer, fasting, and working. working. I thank God for the Glory Prayer Center. It's a wonderful place. One of these days you'll go there. And one of these days... Uh, get in a department you'll have your cubicle for prayers there that time will come but let me tell you before that time you better know that even where you are god answers prayers amen even if you are in that house where when you lift up your voice that place god is still answering prayers amen Somebody say, Lord, I hear you. Lord, I hear Somebody you. say, Lord, I hear you. Lord, I hear you. Even if you are working in the midst of people who are non believers, they could be idol worshippers. They could be the ones who operate and they have an altar there. And they have to feed their altars every other day. And you are working there. When it is your season for prayer and fasting, get into prayer and fasting, even if you are working. Nehemiah was working and he was praying and he was fasting. It's not everybody who will fast with you because, no, because it is not everybody who shares the same burden. Unafikiria kuna watu wengi wana kuhurumia kwa umasikini wako? Watu wana kuhurumia, watafunga na kuomba kwa meaba yako. Epu kuza jirani yako muambia, mini kona mashida zangu. Mini kona mashida zangu. Na wee, shukulikia zako. Shukulikia zako. Wanaisu wa sifiwe, kila mtu, aona vile maisha yake inaenda, apate mzigo, wakukombolewa, wakupenya, wakushinda hizo mapepo, laana za kurithi, zimemaliza wengine kwa familia, zimefunga wengine kwa familia, zimefanya watu maskini kwa familia, we umeamua, hauta kufa na hizo mashida, Hakuna mtu na kusaidia hapa kufunga na kuomba. Ni wewe utainuka kiroho na uwanze kufunga na kuomba. Tell your neighbor, stop looking at me. It's you who prays and fast for yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, I believe in corporate prayers. January, February, we pray and fast all of us. But you know what? That is not all. There is a time you will have to deal with your situation and you have to pray and fast for yourself. If you don't agree with that, you will be in trouble. What is the trouble? The trouble is nobody feels your pain the way you feel it. Tunasamanga kwa kingereza the wearer of the shoe is the one who knows where the shoe does what? Yes, now you can tell me. He kiatu inanifinya hapa, sijaiva. Sijui vile yu kiatu imeingia. Ama ijaingia. So when you are faced with life challenges, like Nehemiah, you not only want to build us to establish your life, but you want to pay the price for where you are going. And one of the things that you must do 
even while you are still working is to pray and to fast even if you are a chief chef you are working you are baking you are cooking but you are praying and fasting one day i had a challenge and and i think i, I need i need to ask god why my battles you know my battles are not with small people me i don't face face challenges with small people to small people i'm an answer i'm a solution yangu ni my principality is kule ju i need to start asking god why watu wakubwa hata wengine nawaangalianga hivi i don't know why battles come from that end so one time somebody decided to frustrate a family service that we were doing and i'm telling you we have paid we have done everything we have paid 25000 that's what they were charging somebody went and paid 100000 and said throw her out we are paying four times i said what first of all if you told me the price was 100000 i would have paid 100000 but you told me the price is 25000 so it's not about the price it's about people in position it's about the pride it's about the fact that she's doing something we haven't done anything so they want to compete the spirit of jealousy and i thought about it and i said lord you know if you want me to let go i'll let go but no god did not say let go god put me in a fast now this fasting i'm also preaching for bishop lai then and i'm preaching for him four days and i'm fasting five days which means by the time i rock up in mombasa i will already be fasting hey na unajua i'll be taken to a nice hotel nice food the place where you pass as you go to the service you smell the food the place where you pass once you come from the service you smell the dinner calling you and you know the people who are driving me to and from they would come and have drinks and uh, snacks at the restaurant after dropping me they would go to the hotel there have some dinner but me hmm. to my room tomorrow to the service tell your neighbor nobody is carrying your burden carry your burden for yourself Tell your neighbor be like Nehemiah this is about you and God it's not about your community it's not about everybody in the family it's about me and God We had done advertisements running into hundreds of thousands of shillings we had booked everything including food for thousands of people cake everything decors everything hey. And now somebody is saying you can't have your function. Let me tell you I got into prayer and fasting and I prayed. By the time I hit the fourth day, I was watching news and I heard them say, it is not good that we got into a battle with the church. We let go, let them finish their function first. They booked before us and then after that we shall book or we can look for another venue can you tell your neighbor it's you the answer is in you tell your neighbor stop waiting for me tell your other neighbor stop waiting i don't know for sister who for brother who i don't know for intercessor who i don't know for it is you the answer is in you but look at this i mean mombasa five star hotel can't eat can't enjoy the meals there why because i have the burden that function was more important than anything else the burden where is your burden my sister my brother the day you'll get fed up with that poverty believe you me you'll touch god the day you'll get up with that problem you get fed up with it you'll do something about it and you will not ask somebody to help you where mwenye ndio utaamua and i pray that that day is today i pray that that day is today Nehemiah decided I've had enough thank you for bringing me the message of what is happening in Jerusalem I have received it but you are not even helping me you are just crying around here all crying babies I give you permission to go get rid of your crying babies because they are not helping you in South Africa it is so bad that when you come with a problem they say oh shame 
Shame, 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 shame. Ah, that happened to you. Oh, shame. So get rid of your shame, shame, shame comrades. Get them out of your life. They will not help you overcome. Thank God for sympathizers. There is a time for sympathy. There is a time for action. And this is not the week for sympathy. This is the week for action. Can I get an amen from somebody tonight? Amen. Can I get an amen from someone tonight? Amen. This is a week of action. The problem, the challenge, the situation that you have been going through must tear you up enough for you to come up with a solution. For you to seek God like Nehemiah. For you to say, I am going to pray. I'm going to fast. I'm going to seek God until you find the solution. Lift up your hands and tell God of Nehemiah, empower me. Tell God of Nehemiah, let this burden move me from today. Yes. Let the burden move your spirit. Yes. Refuse to die with cancer yes, like anybody Lord. else. Refuse to die with that sickness. Hallelujah. Refuse to die in that poverty. Yes, Refuse to die in, in that problem. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Empower me, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Empower me to overcome every challenge. Empower me to overcome every situation in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let this burden move me from my comfort zone in the mighty name of Jesus. Let this burden draw me to seeking you. Let this burden draw me to prayer and fasting in the name of Jesus Christ. My God and my Father today, let this burden remove me, my God, from every comfort zone in the mighty name of of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, my God and my Father today, uh, let your pardon, Lord, uh, cause me to seek solutions, uh, cause me to seek answers, uh, because the solution and the answers uh, are within me tonight, uh, in the mighty name uh, of our Lord Jesus Christ, let Nehemiah, Lord, uh, my God and my Father, let this pardon uh, cause me to be in the mighty name of Jesus. We normally say, let God arise, his enemies be scattered. Okay? So we look in heavens for God to stand up and all his enemies go running. Now let me help your soul. God is not standing up in heavens. He is standing up in you. He is arising in you. It's when he arises in you that you pray and conquer and therefore his enemies are scattered. If you have been looking to see God stand up and his enemies run, you better know God is standing up in you. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Touch yourself and say, Lord Jesus, arise in me. Arise in me. Arise, my King, and grant me victory. Arise in me. Arise in me. Arise, my King, and grant me victory. One more time.
we cannot all afford to run away or to just wait for fate to drive us some direction we must determine our destiny we must determine our present and our future if God be God then let him be God let him arise where in me and his enemies be scattered and the enemies of God are the enemies of God's children Nehemiah are you going to arise or are you going to eat some nice food with your sympathizers are you going to eat with your shame shame guys are you going to eat with those who brought you the bad report somebody say Lord Jesus help me this one I'm on my own and I'll get it done no I'm not hearing you I need to feel your determination this one this one hey I'm on my own I'm on my and I'm own. going to get it done I'm going to get it done hallelujah amen somebody is going to get it done and that somebody is seated right here in this service so Nehemiah is praying with a burden starts fasting cries out to God and says Lord it's over in Jerusalem I'm having a nice time here but the walls of Jerusalem are falling everything is in pieces and he's going to work at the same time so don't use your work as an excuse and say I can't pray and fast no 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 if you are praying and fast pray and fast as you're working if you can get time off fine but if you can't get into prayer and fasting as you are what? and there he's working and his boss looks at him and realizes this man is not happy and ask him what is the problem and the queen was there don't you think it was important for Nehemiah to tell us the queen also sitting by him how important was this for Nehemiah to mention the queen because every queen is supposed to be the ears and the eyes of the husband any queen the wife of a king that leaves the king to do evil God judges you equally together there is no escape route you cannot watch when evil prevails and you are just quiet there must be a way you can soothe and talk to this man and get things working out positively but if you refuse God will still raise another because God's work must be done the queen seated by there the king and Nehemiah are now conversing and Nehemiah says we have a problem the walls of Jerusalem that place where I come from have been brought down and they have been destroyed now if we may go to verse 17 Reverend T go to verse 17 verse 17 up to verse 20 verse 17 then said I unto them ye see the distress the distress that we are in how Jerusalem lieth west and the gates thereof are abandoned with fire come and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem that we be no more a reproach then I told them of the hand of God of the hand of my God which was good upon me as also the king's word that he had spoken unto me and they said let us rise up and build so they strengthened their hands for this good work but when Sanballat the Horonites and Tobiah the servant the Ammonites and Geshem the Arabian had it they loved to scorn they loved us to scorn and despised us and said what is this that ye do why ye rebel against the king then answered I them and said unto them the God of heaven Hallelujah. he will he will prosper us yes he will. therefore we his servants 
will arise and build but ye have no portion Hallelujah. nor a right no memorial in Jerusalem mm. I can say amen and close the service but not yet I have 10 minutes Nehemiah converses with the king and the queen and says I would like to take some time off to go and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem I will come back at some point I don't know when but this work I must accomplish. And the king asked him, what can we do to ease your burden? Nehemiah says, I need you to give me the building materials. Everything else it will take. A couple of people that can deliver these materials down to Jerusalem. And just bid me farewell and let me go. Make sure the walls are rebuilt. I can't sit here comfortable when things are wrong in the house of God. And the Bible says, the king did as Nehemiah had requested, granted him everything he wanted, and released him. Now, the problem now was not the king or Nehemiah. So far, things are good. But now, do you see, Nehemiah cannot build alone. He needs other people. Like-minded people. I put it unto you. That the most difficult thing to change in people is their mindset. Mind. I keep on telling you poverty is not the state of your pocket. It is the state of your mind. The day poverty will get out of your mind, it will get out of your pocket. Nehemiah has now the materials he needs. What he needs now is the cooperation of the people down there that they are going to build with him. And then the Bible says, he said unto them, you see the distress that we are in. He needs like-minded people that can see the problem, that can see the danger, that can feel equal pain and see what is going on. He says, look, Jerusalem layer that west and gates thereof are burnt and we are here just sitting like this, Apana. And he says, I am looking for a people that are tired of this reproach. I came here on this pulpit today looking for a people that are tired of the reproach that you have been going through until you are fed up with that reproach. If you don't feel ashamed of your situation, you'll never do anything about it. You must feel the pain and say, Lord, this will not happen again. And as now you start seeking God, God will grant you the victory. Somebody say, no more reproach. I'm not hearing you. Do you have a situation that you want to declare today? In this situation, there will be no more reproach. In this situation, there will be no more reproach. You that is online, do you have a situation, a challenge that you're facing that you can declare today that in this situation, no more reproach? Draw a line. Draw a line. Draw a line. Tell the devil, Ulikuwa umekuja, ulijaribu. You had come. You had come a bit too far. But now I step my foot here and I say, going forward, no more reproach. No more reproach to my children. No more reproach to my family. No more reproach in my marriage. No more reproach in my finances. No more reproach in GM. No more reproach in the affairs of our life. No more reproach. Full stop. Hallelujah. Once you're tired with that problem, you'll put a full stop. You will say no. And that is when you actually become a God seeker. That is when people seek God, knowing that somewhere along the line, like the woman with the issue of the blood in Mark 5, you will touch him. The woman in Mark 5 broke the law. The law of Moses said, once you are bleeding, you cannot go into public. She doesn't even care because that law cannot feed her. That law cannot heal her. That law is not helping her. That law is oppressing her. We must come to a place where we reject everything and everyone that is oppressing our lives. And the woman in Mark 5 decided, I'm going to seek Jesus. I have to find him for myself. I'm going to press in until I find him. Not even the disciples. Uh -uh. 
I can preach to myself. There are those who think they are closer to God than anybody else. There are those who think they are the voice of God. There are those who think if they don't say it cannot happen. Let me tell you, God can write it on the wall if he has to. God can break through that wall if he has to. God can whisper if he has to. He can shake the shakeables. God is not limited by human beings. The disciples said to the woman in Mark 5, the way you are walking and look at you the way you are smelling and you know even after she touched Jesus and Jesus asked who touched me the disciples were like I not us tell your neighbor it doesn't have to be you but it will be me nobody and nothing will stop me because at this hour and at this time God has promised me my abundance. I am going with the report of the Lord, Isaiah 53. I am believing the report of the Lord and nothing will stop me from enjoying my abundance. I'm doing the things I should have done in 30 years. I'm doing in three years. And that means the things I should have done in three years, I should do them now in three months. I don't know whether you are hearing me. They have to be done because God has already spoken it. Somebody say, Lord, I hear you. Somebody shout, no more reproach. Somebody shout, no more reproach. No more financial reproach. No more project reproach. No more marital reproach. Yes, no Lord. more reproach in no our families. Reproach, no more reproach in no our finances. Reproach, no more reproach no more in repro the mighty name yes, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Nehemiah managed to convince the people. And they went, but they are the Tobias and the Sanballats who are never convinced. I think I can read this for myself and go home. Hey, it says, when they had it, they laughed at us to scorn. Yani walicheka kinyamake garagara. Walicheka wakacheka mpaka unaeza ona meno. Wakiwa scorn. Atu walisepa nini? Wachenge nini? Wafanya nini? Tell your neighbor, watch the space. The Bible says, and they despised us. Hey, they did what? They despised us. That's how you're nani. Anaeza fanya nini. Atena jifanyanga ako anointed. Atena inanga kanisa. Atene muambaji. Ore kore wushio. Wushio. Kei, kei. Wushio. Katumia kau. Kei. Wushio. Kamudrome kau shati. Yedire te kora goko. Kau. Kei. You know, they look at you, they despise you. In this season, those who ask, what is this thing that you think you can do? Those who ask what you can do, those who ask and despise you and scorn you and laugh at you, who oh, My father, my father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you'll give our scorners, our despisers, Amen. our haters, yes. those who look down on us, oh, yes. you'll give them an opportunity yes. to see what God can do yes. with God seekers, yes. with people who know they are God yes. and people who have Jesus Christ in yes, them, Lord. in Jesus name. And somebody shout, Amen. To use Nehemiah's word, Nehemiah said, The God of heaven, He will prosper us. Therefore, we, His servants, will arise and build. I want to hear somebody say, The God of heaven. I'm not hearing you, Bahana. I, Ata kama ni Wednesday, umefast na ujakula, you can shout. Somebody shout, The God of heaven. The God of heaven. The Father of Jesus Christ. The God of our Lord Jesus he Christ. He will prosper us. He will prosper us. And we his servants. And we his servants. From today. From today. We arise. We arise. To build. To build. Whatsoever. Whatsoever. Was destroyed. Was destroyed. In our lives. In our lives. In our destinies. In our destinies. In our calling. In our calling. We arise. We arise. To build. To build. Whatsoever. 
was destroyed in our lives, in our, lives, in our, callings, in our callings, in our families. In our family. we, arise we arise to build, to build from, this day, from this day. I begin, I begin to, build. to build. I begin, I begin to, build. to build. I am anointed, I am anointed to, build. to build. Greater is He Greater is that, is in me that is in me than He that is, he. That is in the world. That is in the world. God, God will prosper me. Will prosper God. Me. God will prosper me. Will prosper Go right ahead and decree what you're building. Yes. Go right ahead in the name and of decree in the what you're building. Name of our Lord decree. Jesus Christ, I decree, decree. decree in the mighty name what you're of building. Jesus that the God of what heaven you're building. will prosper us and we serve and we shall arise. We shall arise. We shall build. Glory prayer center. We arise, servants. We shall arise. We shall build. GTT. We are servants. We shall arise. We shall build our families. We are servants. We shall arise. We shall build up the kingdom of God. We are servants. We shall arise. We shall build up our lives in the name of Jesus. Everything that. That had been destroyed, that had been destroyed by the enemy. We shall arise and yes. we shall build in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The God of heaven will prosper us. The God of heaven will prosper us. And we in servants, we shall arise. You, we shall build. We shall build in the mighty name of our Lord Thank Jesus you, Lord. Christ. We shall build the house of the Lord. We shall build our own house in the mighty name of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Everybody standing up on your feet. Oh, yes. Give me Isaiah 60 on the screen. Everybody standing up on your feet. Remazike anta decree right now and shout and say, From this day. From this day. Day. I obey. I obey. Come on, let's go from this day. From this day. I obey. I obey. The command. The command of the Lord. Of the Lord. I arise. I arise. And shine. And shine. For the light of God. For the light of is God. Calm is calm. Upon my life. Upon my. And His glory. His glory is risen. Is risen. Over my life. Over my life. Over my name. Over my name. Over my certificate. Over my certificate. Over everything. Over everything. About my life. About my. From from today, from today, darkness, darkness that is all over the earth, has, over the has, earth been removed has been removed out of my life. Out of my gross, life. Darkness gross darkness has been driven, has been driven away, away for me. For me, from this day, from this day, the Lord has risen. The Lord has risen in my life, in my life, in His glory, in His glory, and His glory, His glory shall be visible, shall be, visible, shall be, seen, shall be seen, upon my life, upon my Verse life. three. Verse three, and the Gentiles, and the Gentiles shall, come shall come to my light, to my light, and the kings, and the kings to my brightness. To my brightness, I lift up my eyes, I lift up my and eyes, and I see, I see they all gather, they all gather, and they come the power together, together, those from far, those from, those far, from near, those from near, they come, they come together, together, they will fear, they will fear, and they will their heart. And their will, be will be enlarged because, because of the abundance of their abundance that God that God has given me has given even me. the abundance even the abundance of the sea of the sea where we are in verse 5 even the abundance even the abundance of the sea of the sea which has been converted which has been unto me and to the gentiles the gentiles shall come to see shall come what to see God has done what God has in done my life in my life verse 6 from today from today I did I decree in my life in my life I shall bring forth I shall bring forth praises, praises unto the Lord unto the Lord worship worship unto the Lord unto the Lord Verse seven from today from today I decree I decree the flocks the flocks the people the people the weather the well everything every shall come shall come to minister to minister and to me and to me they shall come they shall come and they shall bring they shall all their glory all their glory in this house in this house of the most high god 
I decree, I decree from this moment, from this moment, henceforth, henceforth, verse 11, that my gates my shall gates be opened, shall be continually, opened continually, and that from today, and from today, nobody, nobody shall shut, shall shut my doors, my doors, my gates, my gates, my entry, my entry, day or night. Hey, my, no, gates my gates remain, remain open, open and the kings and the kings and the gentiles and the gentiles shall bring shall bring their wealth their wealth their forces their forces unto my bosom unto my bosom. I decree today I decree in today. the name of Jesus in the name of nations yes. anybody, anybody that will attack me that will attack any kingdom any that kingdom. will rise up against that me will rise up they again. will be wasted utterly wasted well, and wasted. they shall perish Pastatina from today, from today, the glory of Lebanon, the glory of, the Lebanon, glory of nations the glory shall of nation. come unto me. Shall come unto the fat tree, the, the, the pine tree, the, pine tree, the box tree, the box tree will, come will come to build, to build GTT, GTT and beautify, and beautify the, place the place of God's glory. Of God's glory. I decree, I decree, 22. We that were a few we are shall, become a, shall thousand, become a thousand, and we that were one we that shall were become, one. A strong nation, become a strong and nation. The Lord and the Lord shall hasten it hasten from, it today, from today, today, henceforth, in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. In Jesus' name. Touch your neighbor for me and tell your neighbor you are there for now, commanded. You are there for now. To arise. To arise. And build up your life. And build up your Don't life. Wait Don't for wait for somebody. For somebody. Don't expect too much. Don't wait too from much anybody. For anybody. You arise. Arise. And build up. And build your up. calling. Your calling. Your life. Your life. Your destiny. Your destiny. Your vision. Your, vision. your goals. Your goals. Your family. Your family. It's your work. Your work. To arise, to arise and build and, build. and establish, and establish what, God has put what God has put in your hands. In your life. If you are happy, yeah. give God praise. Take your seats now in the presence of God. If you are here tonight and you are not born again, you are not saved, raise up your hand. I want to pray for you. Anybody who is not born again, raise up your hand. Those many scriptures we have read are in Isaiah 60. So you just write in your notes Isaiah 60. In fact, you go read the whole of it. I've just read a few verses for you. Go read the whole of Isaiah 60. Anybody who is not born again, lift up your hand. I want to pray for you. Or anybody who had backslidden and want to come back to Jesus. Are you there? Let's give God praise in the house. Now we give our offerings and our tithes. We give our offerings and our tithes as we worship the Lord. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Prepare your offering, prepare your tithes. Give your offering a name, Isaiah 60. Give it an assignment, Isaiah 60. Give and give sacrificially. We have not been able to do anything much in the prayer center except what we had done by last Sunday. We haven't added anything, so please facilitate for that work to be done. I told you, we are going to build everything at the same time. We are not going to sit and cry. We are going to work. Amen. So facilitate. And I thank God for Faith and Martha and Charles. They delivered, I think, almost a hundred trees. We thank God for them. I had asked for 50. They delivered almost a hundred. So we are yet to go and do the planting. We will do that soon. And we thank God for all those fruit trees. And we bless the Lord for them. Let's prepare our offerings and pass a number 0728 Those who give via Mpesa 0728 Double two, double two, double eight, and uh, zero seven two three two eight three three two three, zero seven two three two eight three three two three. Pay bill number six triple seven eight seven. Pay bill number six triple seven eight seven. 
Those who are writing checks, make the check payable to Jesus is alive ministries. Those who are abroad giving using www.sendwave.com wildremit.com or remitry.com Give your offerings using the number plus two five four seven two eight double two double two double eight plus two five four seven two eight double two double two double eight those in the usa using cash app or those regions where they have cash up my cash up is dollar sign b m one zero that is dollar sign b for bombay m for margaret w for woman the others are A N J I R U B M one G R U. Starting with the dollar sign, and God bless you. Those using their cards, go to our website www.jiam.org and give using the PayPal system. Give right there, and God bless you. Hit the donate button, and God bless you. And for money transfer, R T G S. And especially at such a time that we need interventions financially, kindly please use Family Bank, Corporate Branch, account number 68 00006108, branch code 068, bank code 070, account name Jesus is Alive Ministries, and kindly notify us of deposits through plus 254. 728-222-28 or email admin office at gm.org as we are there preparing for our offerings the handsets are with me here I want to remind you on Saturday we are having the wedding uh, between Frederick and Rachel they are our children they will be getting married on Saturday so be in the house of the Lord at 10 a.m. and God bless you and then from there people will go for the reception at Radix Hotel in Karen. Uh, Firebrand Nation is proceeding. The youth are proceeding for a retreat. Come here, Joshua. It's only 1,000 shillings for all the youth per person. And uh, Deacon Shelin, I have said that Deacon Shelin is collecting the money. But also Joshua is able to collect the money. He's the youth pastor. He's uh, the reverend over that department and uh, from me for those who are here today even if you can't afford that 1000 make Joshua your friend talk to him, you will still go for the retreat that I can assure you he has a pastor's heart but remember it's for the youth only, put your hands together for Joshua and we thank God for him I understand the, the deadline for payment is tomorrow tomorrow Thursday so kindly please pay Joshua works here in the church so you can always find him in his office he has an office upstairs just look for Reverend Joshua you'll find him and God bless you that is for the youth I don't want to find old ladies and old men looking for Joshua leave him to the youth when I was if you were and all the older generation say amen eh, let him minister to his peers Taki kupata wa mama wanaenda counseling kwa Joshua. Eh, utafuta mimi ama Reverend T. My youth, utafuta Reverend Joshua. Hata mimi pia naweza kuombea lakini Reverend Joshua ni mzuri sana hapo. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Now on Sunday, of course we are back to two services, 7 a.m. and 10:30. Two services, 7 a.m. English service, 10:30 Kiswahili Kikuyu service. And of course the children begin their service and Bible study at 7 a.m. Uh, upstairs. So bring your children for the children's church. Even the second service has a children's church. But there is no way we are going to start now teaching the children in Kiswahili Kikui. Hello? Watoto wanafunzo wana kingereza to the minimum Kiswahili. Wana ungeleshwa, wana ungeleshwa paka biblia inaingia bwana yesu asifiwe and since they are all different tribes they are ministered to accordingly so make sure your children are in church tomorrow morning 5 a.m to 6 a.m with the uh, reverend kishaga at the well morning glory 6 a.m to 7 30 with reverend timothy and reverend osaka lunch our service 12 45 to 1 45 reverend jane wambua 
I know Pastor Major is away, but Jane is here. She'll be here. Uh, lunch our service. Jane will be there. Praise and worship in the evening. Hey, Reverend Caro, Pastor Bibian, Reverend Joshua. There is no department that has very many anointed servants of God like this one. And they are here for the praise and worship service tomorrow evening. And I believe some of you came last Thursday after missing the miracle service on Wednesday and experienced God's glory in that worship. The praise and worship service is out of this world. Tremendous. So kindly please attend tomorrow at 5 p.m. running through to 7.30. Kesha on Friday. Tukutane hapa Kesha uh, 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. in the morning. And God bless you. Now take that offering. Lift it up to the Lord and tell the Lord this is my Isaiah 60. Tell the Lord this is my Nehemiah story. I'm going to rebuild my life. I'm not waiting for somebody to do it for me. I will do it myself. I will arise with the burden you have given me. I refuse this reproach. We are not going to be ashamed. I refuse to be reproached. This seed is Isaiah 60. Everything that was dead concerning my life begins to arise, begins to arise, begins to arise, begins to arise to the glory and the honor of our Father in heaven. Come on, speak to your offering. If you are tithing, Malachi 3 is your portion as you tithe. As you give, the spirit of the living God causes you to arise and build your life. Arise and build your career. Arise and build your business. Arise and build your marriage. Arise and build the things that are called by your name. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Arise and build your calling. Arise and build the affairs of your life. Don't give the enemy an opportunity. The Sanballats and the Tobias. Those who have been scorning you and laughing at you. And despising you. May God enable them to see what God is doing in your life. That God will cause you to rebuild what the enemy has brought down over the years. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now stand up with that offering. Please take your bags. Don't leave your bags down. Come with your offering. Put your offering on the altar. And decree Isaiah 60. Decree Isaiah 60. Decree Isaiah 60. Decree Isaiah 60. Put your offering on the altar. Don't leave your bags in the, the seat. Put your offering on the altar and decree Isaiah 60 in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father. Everybody standing up on your feet, please. And pastors, those who are running the midweek services, I know I promised you I'll come to help you soon, and yes, I will. I'm coming to help you soon. But before I do that, Reverend Ruth, uh, Reverend uh, uh, my colleague, my Reverend, the wrong name, oh, Jane, Reverend Jane, Reverend Caro, uh, I saw Jerry preaching lunch hour. Kamago and Kate and the rest of the team. Everybody. When you are collecting offerings, you don't release people before you release the offering bags. It is your responsibility also to ensure that those bags are locked. That padlock there is not for beauty. It is to enable the person who is transmitting, who is uh, taking that offering wherever they are taking it to go and hand it over to somebody else in a locked bag. So you also ensure that things run smoothly. So, you were watch lunchtime. You know, now everybody is leaving and you are leaving one Asha here struggling with a bag. 
lakini nikaona na yeye ni machua ni mtu machua atajiokoa tu lakini nyinyi pia ndio macho ya hawa ashaz wetu bwana Yesu asifiwe lift up your hands before the lord father i bless your children i bless them to arise and build up their lives i issue this command into their spirit no more reproach no more just accepting everything that comes their way from now they arise and they take charge of their lives and they pray through for greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world i pray that this week even those who will enter into prayer and fasting every prayer we shall pray you will hear us you will answer us you will battle for us and you will raise the banner of jehovah nisi proclaiming a thunder of ebenezer and releasing the provision of jehovah jaira father i give you glory that any person here will know that you are adonai over our lives because of the great things that you do for us nehemiah is somewhere in heaven we are here on earth and our jerusalem must be built we come now just like nehemiah did may you hear us answer us favor us provide for us hey let that el shaddai grace flow in us that el shaddai grace that el shaddai grace let isaiah 60 become a reality in the name of our lord jesus christ amen god bless you as you go home take time this week to pray and to fast somebody say prayer and fasting prayer and fasting ebu say mani tajipanga tajipanga prayer and fasting prayer and fasting utapangwa na nani utapangwa na nani nani atajipanga utajipanga in prayer and fasting i'm waiting for your testimony i love you god bless you amen <laughs>